Hey, what's up, <laughs> what's up, NHL fans out there around the world? What's up, everybody in North America? Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl between the Patriots and the Giants. Well, it looks like the Giants won, and I'm happy. I picked them in the beginning. Well, I had New England too, but no, I had the Giants, and I'm really proud for Eli Manning. He proved all his doubters wrong. Tom Coughlin saved his job by winning another Super Bowl. You know what? They actually should give him the key to the city because I think this guy is the greatest coach in history of New York teams. Right up there with Joe Torre, right up there with some of the greats, Iron Mike Keelan of the New York Rangers back in the day. So, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Tom Coughlin is the man. I don't know about Rex Ryan. He's still looking for that championship ring. We'll just have to see. So, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Let's get down to some news tonight. So, the news is, late tonight, according to Hockey Buzz, taking the temperature of the rumor mill up to date, D-Men, Wings, and the Leafs. So, it looks like what X saying here, that uh, the latest last night, uh, you said uh, you heard there was a major trade probably in the works. Uh, it says here, last night I heard that a major trade I have been chasing for ages may finally be coming to fruition. The deal involves a superstar player and a few major markets. Who poses keen interest for players to dangle as trade bait and financial ability make it happen i will go into more specifics when i'm confident the deal is in well folks i mean Eck is trying to say that maybe there's a blockbuster deal in the works not 100 percent sure on this one i've looked around i've listened to some radio i've watched some television I've listened to some darren Dreger, bob mckenzie most of these guys are saying there's not really much going on nick kiprios uh, Doug McLean, but <clears throat> according to some of my poor sources out in the States, uh, it's going to be quiet for now, but uh, I really feel there's going to be some big-time movement come trade deadline. Um, I, I remember last time I was talking about Rick Nash. Uh, the Rick Nash thing is still on. Um, actually, I heard a rumor, actually this morning, it wasn't even a rumor, but there's talk Columbus is interested in Sam Gagne. Don't forget Sam Gagne made some NHL history this past weekend. He got eight points, and in total, he got 12 points. He got another three-point game on the Sunday previous to the Saturday when he got eight points in a game for the first time in about, what, 20 years or, or 30 years. Actually, 1982 is the last time it actually happened, an eight-point game. <clears throat> I know Mary Lemieux had a few in his time, but as an oiler, since Wayne Gretzky did it, uh, since 1982, that's where I last saw it, but it's amazing. 1982? Wow, <laughs> it's old as me. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah. That's amazing. Well, um, let's see what else is going on. Um, <clears throat> says here, I'll stay with this deal that involves one of the exclusive top six players. Well, what X trying to say is he's staying with this deal. There could be some deals in the works. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, blockbuster deals. You know, you have the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Montreal Canadiens, Tampa Bay Lightning. I still honestly think they're going to make a deal for a goalie. Nikolai Javi Bullen, I have a feeling he's available. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, so, you never know. Oh, I got some news here that I was talking about. Uh, this season's most... Of the teams with a sort of cup have a cap space and a trade to spend. And with the CBA negotiations moving on, which many feel it would be a great grant at amnesty for a team to get out of under big contracts and a short term, shorter term owner on the contract. The mood is very much set for the most interesting deadline in years. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Just a pile of stuff coming up here. 
<laughs> it's so much information I can't comprehend with it, folks. Well, it looks like uh, there, the NHL players and even with the owners, with Gary Batman, uh, they might try to do what the NBA did in terms of when they get a deal done. They'll try to do the same thing the NBA did where, where with those big-time contracts, have an amnesty clause where they can just get rid of the contracts off their cap. Um, just They'll pay out the player what they owe them and stuff, but they'll become unrestricted free agents. So basically, they can just wipe out an entire contract. Like, look at Rick DiPietro or Roberto Luongo. They have, like, contracts that just kill their franchise. So uh, I think after the CBA, they will try – to maybe amnesty these ridiculous contracts, even Bruce Gallagher, I think, I think he'll do it. Uh, <clears throat> he's just a one-year wonder. Uh, th- I don't know what Paul Holmgren was thinking when he signed Bruce Gallagher. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know what he was thinking when he signed him, but it's crazy, you know? You don't sign a guy to an, was it, eight-year deal? And you're paying him, what, $7 million a year, and he's letting in so much pucks in the net. He's been horrible this year. I know they don't have Chris Pronger, but it doesn't mean Bruce Gallup can't go stop some pucks. Even some of his defense, they should be blocking pucks. I mean, Yager has played decent this year. Claude Drew's had an amazing year. Hartnell's really stepped his game up, but they got to step it up defensively. I mean, it comes from defense that wins championships. Just look at the uh, New York football giants in the NFL. They won by defense. It was all about defense. That's what wins your championships. It's as simple as that. How do you think Dallas won the championship last year? Defense. Defense, defense, defense. And I think the way it's going in the NBA this year, I think the Celtics might win it this year because of their defense. Or the Lakers. I don't think the Clippers or the Miami Heat or even going to get to the final. I think the Celtics and the Lakers might get back to the finals once again. That's my prediction on that. So it's all about defense. And I feel what teams – you need to make moves at the trade deadline. You need to make the right, make the right deals. And uh, when I look at some of these teams like Detroit, Detroit need to get a goalie, for one. They need to get a top six forward, two. And I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe switch up the lines a little bit. Um, I don't think the Bertuzzi, Datsu, um, Franzen line is really working out. I think they may have to split that one up, you know, move some players around on different lines. Uh, I know, even with Detroit, you know, they, they got to change up their change up what what they're doing right now. Uh, it's not going right. They could do a lot better. So the most important thing for Detroit, they must stick with their goals to win a Stanley Cup. Lidstrom is playing the best I've seen him play in the last few years. He's not have lost a bit. He hasn't lost an inch. He's still the, the Nicholas Lidstrom that we all remember, and. Uh, in the end, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough to call. So Detroit looked good. Edmonton Oilers, I think they're gonna be sellers. Uh, there's a few players. Uh, they're drawing lots of interest. Says here Sutton, uh, he's drawing a lot of interest. Uh, there's even Sam Gagne. Um, don't be surprised if uh, Gilbert gets traded. Um, I'm hearing that Kavina, his name has been thrown out there. Uh, we'll just have to see. There's even Patrick Sharp. I'm even gonna throw his name out there. I think I think Chicago might trade him. Uh, I think they need to get a few important pieces: defense and another depth forward, like a center. And they need a, a impact center. Um, and they won't have to look too far to get that center. And I think he plays in the Western Conference, and he plays for a team called the Edmonton Oilers. And I think it's Sam Gagne. <laughs> After getting an eight-point game, I wouldn't be surprised if the Chicago Blackhawks and Edmonton Oilers come together and they make a, a, an amazing deal that would shock the entire NHL world. So I don't be surprised if that happens. Oh, that's the news on Sidney Crosby. He started practice with his teammates. Looks like he might come back next week. That's my guess. Um, he had a press conference, talked about the concussion slash neck problem he's been having. I think with Sidney, you know, it's his health. But it takes time. You know, those type of injuries – Take time to heal. He has serious problems. But once he comes back, he's going to make an impact. Just like Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky, Eric Lindros, all those greats have come back from serious injuries, serious problems, and have become the best in the game. So we'll see what happens, folks. 
Uh, the games have been really good. I mean, the Leafs have been on fire. I mean, Kessel, Lupo. I mean, these guys, a one-two punch, one of the best in the league. I mean, just like the Sedin twins in Vancouver, you know, Kessler and, and Burroughs, you know, those guys have always been good. I mean, in New York, you got Richards. Brad Richards has been an impact player. Gavrik has found his game again. He's scoring goals at a high level. Brian Boyle is really contributing. I love what they're doing. Ottawa, they've been playing amazing this year. Craig Anderson's played awesome. Even though they lost tonight, the last few games, they've lost one nothing. They've lost 3 nothing, And tonight they lost, it was like 2-1 or I think it was, I believe it was 2-1 or one nothing, something like that. They lost to L.A. Uh, you know what? There's no panic in Ottawa. I think maybe they got to make a deal. they got to bring in someone that can help out the defensive core. The key for Ottawa is they got to stick with it. You know, if you're going to make the playoffs, you got to stick with it. The most important thing is don't get distracted. Don't get sub subtracted. Just stick with your game plan. If you're going to make the playoffs, you go for it. You play every game like it's your last. You know, Stanley Cup is one of the toughest things to win. But when I look at that Ottawa team, they have a shot at it, man. You know, it's like Vancouver and Bo Boston last year. Even teams like Philadelphia in the past. You know, I mean, they look like a team that's possessed. They want to win the Cup. And uh, Ottawa, they're my dark horse. I mean, if they make it in, you never know. I mean, sky's the limit. Just like the Calgary Flames, they're another dark horse I have. And if Jerome McGinley, he's starting to get his wheels going. He's starting to score some amazing goals. He got his 500 goals recently, a couple weeks ago, like three, four weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it's getting interesting. The National Hockey League, the players are starting to get back into shape. They're getting their minds back into the grind. After an amazing All-Star game, <laughs> it was kind of a joke. Uh, but in the end, as we get closer to the trade deadline, players are going to be showcasing. And we're going to see some trades in the next few days, I think. There's some general managers that are willing to make trades now. Um, it's pretty high right now in terms of getting a player they want. Most teams want a defenseman. they got to pay an arm and a leg to get. But don't be surprised in the next three to four days, you're going to start seeing some trades trickle across the news. Uh, Brandon Morrison was one from Calgary <coughs> for a young player and Brad, uh, Brad Collinley. Uh, I think Moe is going to really help out Chicago. He's a good depth player. Third line center. Can play in second line if needed. Uh, he hasn't played that good recently, but, you know, he's just he's just learning a new system. I'm surprised Calgary traded him, but, you know, give him another shot at maybe winning the Stanley Cup. So that's a good move. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, NHL is getting interesting, folks. The playoffs are around the corner. <sighs> Man, February is almost over. No, it's just started. <laughs> it's February 7, 2012. Uh, and I'm, I'm real positive, y'all. Um, it's good to be back. Um, I mean, I hope you all had a, you know, a good whatever the last few days. Enjoyed your Super Bowl. Enjoyed the movies in the movie theaters. There's been some real cool ones. Chronicle, I hear it's a pretty cool. I saw the preview to it. Looks like a movie I might go see in the future. Uh, there's even a Ghost Rider coming out in a few weeks. And then I think this weekend, um, Safe House with Denzel Washington, Ryan Reynolds. It's supposed to be a real good movie. Uh, you never know. Uh, there's a lot of good things going on out, out there around the world right now. And uh, just enjoy your hockey, folks. I mean, it's going to get intense now. Teams are battling for playoff positioning. And the rumors are going to continue. Keep listening to the radio. Check out the Internet. And... Uh, Hey, you can check out me on NHL Trade Rumors. This is the one and only Mark Spencer for NHL Trade Rumors for February the 7th, 2012. We'll see you in the future. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>